Hi. In this video, there's more questions and answers. I'm going to try and answer some of the many, many questions that you left and many comments that you left below. Join me. YouTube, Brian James at Micro Four Thirds Guy back with you once again on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning in uh, in downtown Carlisle. Do we have a downtown Carlisle? Yeah, I suppose we do have a downtown Carlisle. Yes, I'm in Carlisle, um, but in the car for a change. No van behind me. I'm in the car. Um, and just a, a few points to uh, return on some of the queries that I've had over some of the posts I've had recently. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for the comments you've made. I really, uh, I've been quite astounded at some of the comments, uh, the, both the quantity and the quality of them, because there's been some really intelligent conversation come out in them, um, which, is, which is very pleasing. Um, hitting the, the thing which happened last week on the 9th, which was the, well, the 8th and 9th, which was the upgrades to the lenses and cameras for the firmware from Lumix. Really interesting to see those come through. Um, I think most people got them sorted out quite happily. I did a couple of videos on how to do the firmware updates. A couple of um, things came from it, though. Um, I do come from a technical background. I'm an electronics engineer originally, worked on radar systems. But um, I'm not a super expert, so I'll, although I've tried to help as much as possible where people have had problems with firmware updates, Please just bear in mind that um, I'm not the manufacturer, I'm not the programmer on those things. So there's some common sense moves which I've been suggesting. Um, but at the end of the day, if you get problems, contact either your local dealer or the uh, or Panasonic Lumix. Or if you're doing an Olympus update, Olympus themselves. They've got an awful lot more technical su uh, support skills than I have on those products because they came from them. Um, so thank you very much for the confidence and the faith you put in me for that. It really is actually it's quite heartwarming, really. But um, there is a, a point where you know I'm I'm literally the messenger on these things rather than the uh, the author of them. So uh, if you have had problems, I'm sorry about that. But really, do get in touch with either your dealer or the uh, the manufacturer's side uh, technical support side. However, it seems that most people had them go well. I know that um, on the GH5S there was a, um, a, a late reinsert, uh, uh, restart, shall we say, on the um, firmware. I don't know what happened on that. A few people have asked me what happened. I've got no idea. Um, I'm presuming that maybe there was a little bit of a problem in the code or maybe they put a slightly earlier um, version out by accident rather than the final version. I've, I've done that when I've been putting software rollouts out myself in the past. So it could be something as simple as that. Um, I'm going to open the window. Do you know what? It is so hot in this car and there's noise outside. If I get vehicle noise from other people, just um, you know, just bear with me if you would. But it's so warm in this car. Um, so yes, on the, on the firmware front, it seems we've gone well. Somebody asked me um, as to why we do firmware updates on lenses. And that's a really interesting question because uh, I think an awful lot of people don't quite understand uh, or appreciate. I don't think I think understands a bit of a harsh um, criticism. I think people don't necessarily appreciate um, what's in a camera system these days. When I started photography, a camera was literally a box with um, a lens on one end and a, a piece of film inside the other, and, you, and something to stop the light getting through called a shutter. Now, what you have is a multitude of computers. The camera itself, the body is a computer, but also the lens has got a computer itself in and they talk to each other they do all sorts of things um, because now we have things like um, image stabilization in both the lens and the body and they have to talk to each other and work with each other um, so firmware updates can um, improve the way that they work you've got the fact that you've got servo motors driving the um, driving the, the the focusing in the camera and they have, uh, it's literally that, it's a servo, it's a, a feedback system. Um, so when you send a drive message out to the lens from the camera, when it's trying to get it into focus, the lens also has to report back as to where, the, where it physically is. And there's all sorts of computations as to when it stops the, the motors working so you don't get overshoot. And if you do get overshoot, to bring it back in again. Now there's a whole science behind uh, servo motors. 
and there's something I used to work on quite a lot with the, the radar systems. Um, and what you've got is the same thing in a camera. You've got to make sure that the focus is actually going to hit the right spot and not overshoot. And because if it overshoots, it has to be brought back in again, and that takes time and that slows your focusing down. You've got to have the lens report back what aperture it's got its iris set to. Um, and there's all sorts of data that goes backwards and forwards. And there's also there's improvements in camera bodies and the lenses themselves, which if you're putting a, um, a lens, a more modern lens onto an older camera, you need that lens to be able to report back its um, its uh, uh, um, its its own setup, its own um, uh, information, if you like, which the camera is probably not aware of. And this is the the beauty of this Micro Four Thirds system. It does allow uh, upgrades and doesn't allow older system, older cameras to use more modern lenses. But what it's doing is all sorts of things like that. It's just making sure that the software is talking to the hardware out there, camera wise and the cameras are talking to the, the lens in the right way. So don't worry about it, but it is something which is important to do. One of the other things as well is because it is a cross-platform, um, for instance, when I looked on the Olympus 45mm 1.8, it's got, a, it's got a rather large van going past. When I looked at the Olympus uh, 45mm f1.8 lens, the, the last um, upgrade that I saw for the firmware on that was to enable it to work more efficiently with Panasonic cameras. So there is an awful lot of cross-platform on there. So that's the um, why we upgrade lenses. There was a post on uh, why the image stabilization and coordination between Olympus lenses and bodies and Panasonic lenses and bodies don't tie up more between the two. Well, the Micro Four Thirds is a standard, but again, you're, you're trying to get manufacturers trying to get an edge, so they're working to within the standard. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't exceed the standard. And if exceeding the standard, um, but but maintaining the the, the core values of it, it's a good time to go. If maintaining the standard, um, but exceeding those core values is uh, achieved, then they're actually not breaking the standard. So. The standard didn't actually um, dictate about having coordination between the image stabilization in the body and the image stabilization in the lens originally, as far as I know. So therefore, they've, they've gone down their own paths on that. It would be very nice if those paths could coincide um, so that Olympuses would have the full talking capability to get the extra stops, but there's all sorts into that. Um, and I think the standard answer in that one is, um, uh, it's technical. Oh yes, that's right, it's technical. So I'll skip over the rest of that one. Um, awful lot of people on that last video about is Micro Four Thirds dead making comments, which is um, really pleasing to see as well. Not all positive towards Micro Four Thirds, I have to add, which again, I think is very healthy. Um, I've said this a few times in answers and I keep on saying it. Buy the camera system which is right for you. Um, not necessarily what the pundits claim is gonna be right for you. Do your research. Go down to your local dealer and try a camera. There's a problem, um, and I'm not having to go at, in, at um, dealers on, on the web, uh, quite the opposite, I'd be lost without them myself, but there is still a huge um, bonus in having a local dealer, a local camera specialist in your area, and then going to use them, and also buying from them. Don't take their advice for free and then, for free and then go and buy it cheaper from the internet. Go to your local dealer, ask them their information because they are really knowledgeable, they're really generally knowledgeable. Um, the local one in Carlisle to me, um, a company called Wilkinson's, it's a small it's a small chain, I believe it's a family chain. Um, they, if you go in there and start asking them information about the cameras, they are only too willing to give it and because they see all the platforms, and because they all get to use all the platforms, because they obviously have demonstration models and things, I can gain so much information, so much experience from talking to them that it's untrue. Much better than getting it on the internet because they've, you know, they've got them there. And to tell you the truth, where the internet you tend to get one one manufacturer will be pushing their product with your local dealer. Mm -hmm. They actually win if you buy any product from them because you're buying them. So a lot of the time they'll go down the ones which are more reliable for them because they don't want to have the recalls and they don't want to have the the, um, the the servicing issues on it. They'll do the ones which are giving good value for money. They'll give the ones which are gonna give customer satisfaction because they want you coming back through the doors. 
Um, so my advice on any of those things is just try the different brands. Don't stick the Micro Four Thirds because I say so or because I, I'm an advocate of it. Use whatever system is right for you. If it's a medium format digital camera that you want, go and buy a medium format digital camera, please. Because if it's the right one for you, it's the right camera. Simple as that. But try the cameras. Get them in your hand. Hire a camera if, uh, if necessary to give it a go. Um, but certainly use your local dealer, but don't abuse them. Go down there, um, get, get their advice, get their information, and then give them the support to keep them in business. Because if you don't actually buy from them, they'll not be there the next time you want to have some serious advice. So, um, But that's, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, you know, keep them, keep, them, keep them going. Apart from that, I think that pretty much answered most of the questions that were um, that have came up recently the the biggest one has been this is micro four thirds dead um, I there are a couple of naysayers in it but as I say that's totally right and totally up to them but I think um, it is quite a rosy future I said this in the in that video that I think it's a really rosy future and I stand by that I really do um, I was accused on one on Facebook of clickbait Somebody said they weren't watching. They weren't going to watch it because it's clickbait. Well, it wasn't meant as clickbait, uh, but I can see and I can understand that. And somebody else said they've seen this video, this sort of video, a thousand times. To which I say, well, you haven't heard my opinion a thousand times. Um, but to tell you the truth, I'm not really worried because if one person got anything positive from this, then the video's worked. Um, apart from that, get your cameras out. Keep on going out during the, during the weekend taking photographs because the the weather really is good, um, at least in the UK here. Um, and I'm also noticing that there's an awful lot of freedoms coming back, not only in the UK but around the world, insofar as where you can go and what you can do. So we've had a couple of we've had a couple of years, nearly a year and a, a, year and a half, nearly of um, restrictions, um, good or bad. I'm not going into that. That's not the purpose of this video. But we have had restrictions, and it restricted me. It got me to the point where I wasn't going out to do photography, and it was after me having COVID in January. Um, and coming out of my isolation time that I decided I was going to do something productive and get the camera and go outside again and it's probably been one of the most therapeutic things I've done um, and joining this community, starting this community up on Facebook has been part of that therapy and I really do appreciate each and every one of you who has um, given me support whether it's um, buying me a coffee um, on the PayPal link or whether it's sending me uh, a, a comment back to the videos or some of you have sent emails through to me um, and each one of those has been really appreciated because it's made me feel somewhat human um, and somewhat back to my normal uh, my normal self so thank you all for that um, if you are going through any sort of struggles because of this pandemic pandemic then I really do um, I, re I really wish you the the best of luck and best of success um, as I say, you can get through. Oops, slipped. You can get through it. Both my wife and I had it in January, and um, uh, we're fighting fit. You can see I'm, I'm in perfect health uh, for, for 22 year old. Um, yeah, I might be lying about that part. Yeah, it's um, it's not left any lasting problems with me. I know it has on some people, and I think that's um, you know, and I really my heart goes out to you on that one. But whatever you're doing, just try and make the best of what you have. Go out and enjoy yourself. Go and take photographs. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please leave a link in the... Uh, uh, don't leave a link. Please hit the subscribe button below. You knew what I meant. I always get confused on these things. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. PayPal link below if you want to leave me a coffee. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and a like because I get alg uh, the algorithms of YouTube to spread it around. And I'm going to leave this here because it's... The, the, the coffee shop's open. I'm going to get a coffee. Have a wonderful uh, weekend and go out and take some photographs and I'll see you during the week with more for videos. Brian James, that Mega Four Thirds guy, look after yourself. Keep shooting. Bye-bye.